Biostats, Biological Statistics. And let's talk about probability rules. And of course, just think of this guy over here who's tossing the coin up here in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Coin tosses. We will be combining different probability events. Oh my goodness, what's that? Specifically independent events. Ah, a coin toss. That's an independent event. Huh. Well, independent events are combined by multiplication. Really? Coin tosses are combined that way? Yes, they are. Independent events means that future events, future coin tosses, are not governed by past events, by past coin tosses. Oh. Each event is separate from both. Any past event and any future event. So your current coin toss, coin toss, is separate from any past coin toss and any future coin toss. So previous events tell you nothing about the next event. Nothing, nothing, nothing. The events are independent of each other. Independent, I tell you, independent. So coin tosses are independent of each other. Yeah, that makes sense. Each and every single coin toss is independent of every single other coin toss. So I flip a coin. And down it comes. Heads. I toss again and heads. Heads again. Again and again. Heads. Wow, three heads in a row. Three heads in sequence does not alter the fact that the next toss of the coin still has a 50-50 chance of being a heads or a tails. Doesn't change that fact. Not a bit. So this 50% does not change. It is a constant. 50% is 0 0.50 decimal or 0.5 in decimal. So we are combining their 0.5 probabilities there, the three tosses, their 0.5 probabilities huh. with every coin toss. We're combining them. How? How? Multiplicatively. Three coin tosses equals 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.5. And I did it on the calculator. A little bit of cheating up here. I had to paste that in. 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.5 equals 0.125 or 0 0.125. So 0 0.125 gives me what? Well, I don't know. To convert to a percent, I move the decimal point two places to the right. Two places to the right. Bingo! Bada bing! Bada bang! Bada boom! And there we go. 12.5%. There is a 12.5% chance of getting three heads in a row. What was that? There's a 12.5% chance of getting three heads in a row. 12.5% chance, did you say? How did you do that again? I did that by doing what? Multiplication. 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. That gives me 0 0.125. I move the decimal point over one, two places. I get 12.5% chance of those three things happening in a row. There's a 12.5% chance of getting three heads in a row. Another way to write 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.5 is 0.5 to the third power. Wow! So when you have independent events, like the flipping of a coin, like the flipping of a coin, oh I just said that, then you just multiply the probability, which is 0.5 in this case, times the number of times you're going to flip the coin. Well, let's do one for example. We did the three times. Let's do five times now. That sounds like an interesting thing to do to me. 
Really? It does. So, 0 0.5 to the 5 power, what does that give us? That gives us 0 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, which gives us 0 0.03125. I did it on the calculator. You can check it for verification purposes. 0 0.03125. Well, to convert it to a percent, I move the decimal point two places to the right, because I don't want to say I have a 0 0.03125 chance. I want to put this into percentile format. So to convert to a percent, I move the decimal point two places to the right. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. And I got 0 0.03.125. Oh, that looks yucky. Let's get rid of the two leading zeros. And I get 3.125%. Oh, that looks yucky. Let's round it off. And I get 3.13%. Oh, that looks yucky. Let's put it, uh, round it off even more. Oh, I should have put a round off thing, approximate thing there, too. It's about 3%. So you have about a 3% chance of getting five heads in a row. Five. A 3% chance of getting five heads in a row. 3% chance. That's it. That's not a lot. And that's all there is to that. That was pretty simple. That was pretty clear. Well then, so long from Hoboken Care. It's been fun. I really enjoy this. Bye-bye now. Uh, oh, don't forget to rate the video. Click on I like it. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye now.